Good day, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dance Without Toy View. Today is, of course, the very first Toy View for September of 2022, and my clock is, can you believe it, the year is actually going ballistically fast. And mind you, we've only got at least one four months' time, or possibly five months' time, uh, before this year dies. Can you believe it? 2022 is literally coming to a great big dead end. Uh, but yes, we've got actually three or four for that toy views. Really thought I was going to do five with the fingers. And yes, I'm still in my shorts, of course. As you can tell. Sorry for the dirty table, but that's who I am because I'm literally a hard working person, of course. And funnily enough, it is still pretty much, you know, um, I, I can tell you what though, guys, I, it is pretty much a warm day. Not actually, I can't believe it. In fact, even if we're into September, I just can't believe it. Summer does persist into September, but maybe not for this year because I can tell you what, we had a very record breaking hot July and uh, 40 degrees Celsius. My crockies, I can't believe it. We've literally just escaped from the absolute hot heatness, from the absolute heat of July actually. Uh, but what I might do is I'll grab this webcam and uh, I might show you the four products. Uh, I might show you uh, amongst this double pair of high speed trains. Uh, um, uh, 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 um, actually, it's called more like. Uh, what's that word again? Tunneling. Tunneling all the way through this beautiful blue oval track. It looks like that. There you go. I was struggling to say the word tunneling. Sorry about my stupid dyslexia, but. Who knows if I do, I don't, or don't really have the snacks here, but I might as well just drop those products like so. And of course, here, since it's about 11pm, I'm actually going to do this video very quick and short, so there's no point of doing a very long and detailed video. But I think our first product we might take a look at is this product here. It's called the Flipper Origami British Wild Collection Swimming Herring Girl Family and Salmon Run Frenzy 12 Pack. £13, but I can tell what I guys are. It feels so, so different. And mind you, it actually goes back to the very classical way and the very sort of, how do you say it, standard sort of toy reviews that I've done so far back then in previous videos. Um, which are not only just, you know, which are not August related though, as in vloggers. Although, there's a bit of trivia for, for you though, guys. If you remember thinking about my YouTube channel, um, the only instance where I only do, you know, toy reviews normally like this back in August, I think it was 2019. If you remember that one, I'm boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this YouTube video. Of course, yes, we've got four of those juvenile herring gals. All of them have names, but I'm actually not going to flip them um, upside down because I think they've already got names visibly. As you can definitely tell, they actually look fairly nice. And uh, they are herring gals. Of course, yes, I'll show you the adult birds next there. There's a bit of uh, shading as well because of the camera. I'm actually filming within this video, of course. And funnily enough, the other video I was also doing, of course, this, this is actually the second video I've actually made for September of 2022. The other video I did was actually done on the 31st of August. If you want to go ahead and check that one out, there's a link on the description down below. Um, if you want to see that very awesome video, which had a whole bunch of relaxing music within it, um, it's basically like some kind of late summer, last day of summer sort of sunset scenery with my Disney toy train that was running on some kind of Trackmaster classic layout you know my train sets of course that was actually fairly nice and actually in the in this product uh, the salmon actually looked very different um, but look, before I have to take a look at the salmon let's take a look at the um, are these herrings? Uh, these little tiny fish here they're basically herrings uh, there's no blue on that side here, so what I might do is I'll detail this bit with some blue, so it just looks a lot more better, doesn't it? Uh, so I'm just going to find where the blue is. I'm going to add some blue so that it correlates to how, you know, this fish should look like. Plain enough. So it is there. It's got some beautiful blue at the front. Looks better, doesn't it? Looks so much better indeed. And of course, yes, um, same this one here. Why do I even keep on forgetting about the blue colour at the front? Am I just a bit too lazy whenever I come and do toy views and blah blah? The only thing I help, don't even know um, crazy this would be. Here's the other one there as well. That looks totally and utterly, um, well, 
intricate in the way it's been detailed and all that stuff. Well, not going to say anything about the fish, of course. Well, obviously the herrings, I'll call them actually. The small ones actually, but the ones I'm actually going to be talking about are those guys here. Now they used to look pink and also a lot more brighter in colour though, but this time they've actually gone for more of a realistic sort of detailing just without the spots. You know what I mean? Because I suppose that Atlantic salmon in real life, they do have spots. I mean, it's kind of sort of very different to have such a very different piece of detailing to have though uh, with the salmon like so. This is actually quite peculiar. I've never thought of, you know, myself having a look at a very different design and a very different looking appearance. Well, actually the design looks the same, but the only thing that just shouts out to me that the design is actually very different is basically the artwork. I definitely think the way this fish has been rendered is vastly different to the one I did back in 2021. So maybe that does represent we're heading to a new generation. Of course, yes, since it's autumn time, not only it's basically the time when the days are getting shorter and the nights are getting longer, but it's also the time when biodiversity in autumn time is starting to become, well, a lot more active. Just like springtime. I know it's you know, it's the time when birds start to fly south to escape the cold winters on their breeding grounds. You know, obviously, which is their northern sort of which is their northerly sort of destinations that they go for. But yeah, that is something I've actually realised. They always fly south when the winter coldness, when the cold of winter starts to come in. Of course, yes, this product is done. Next product we'll take a look at is this one here. It's another for flat origami British wildlife collection toy. This one here is basically called the Swimming Salmon Run Great Cormorants and Herring Girl Pilfery slash, oh sorry, it says Robbery 12 pack in brackets of course. It costs about £13.99, it's quite £14. Here you go, there's the back of the packaging which looks like that. Here you go, we've got a couple of Herring Girls who look kind of hot because they're panting. And we've also got, oh maybe they're starving because they're they're literally so desperate to steal a couple of salmon that a couple of greedy cormorants have decided to devour upon. And yes, we've decided to unpack this. This is actually looking fairly nice, eh? Yeah, fairly nice. And we'll take a look at what we've got. We've got we've actually got two of those adult herring guys, of course. They look pretty much the same. Say no more. And we've also got the juveniles as well. That's also pretty much the same, of course. I mean, what value do you have? Um, I don't know about you, but they're all looking like the same, to be honest, I think. And we've also got some cormorants. Oh no! I think I've just lost a bit of detailing on that cormorant. How silly was I? Oh no, I think I've lost all that detailing. No, I feel like I've actually lost all that detailing, and... Sorry, I think I've just missed out a bit of detailing. It's kind of strange that why... Do I sometimes lose a lot of detailing on my perfect toys? And it's just weird because normally a lot of perfect toys on my YouTube channel they tend to get fully detailed and I don't understand why. But sometimes I just lose it. Sorry if I'm starting to rant though, but there you go. Much better. It used to be all white, but the whole wing is now brown. Without making my fan. Um, not so upside down, but make my phone upside down for the sake, <coughs> sake for making my YouTube channel, you know, looking like a top crown. But yeah, we've got those guys here, looking all the same. Those comments look like they've got beady eyes these days, it's kind of strange. Actually noticing that the yellow at the front, it used to be at the bottom, but now it looks so more accurate than what it used to be. Mind you, that's a very nice detailing sort of accuracy going on here. And then we've got those guys here. They look very similar to what we've done, to what I've actually done before, eh? I mean, why even bother to probably change the looks of the salmon? I mean, I do prefer the looks of the 2021 salmon because of its colours and blah blah. But noticing, I don't know why the colours have been decided to be changed for 2022. I don't know why. It must have been a very short period of time to do so. And I don't know why, which is actually one of those big mysteries that Flip Flap seems to basically um, underbunk upon. 
But nevertheless, as it's literally a bit of a rough and ready video because obviously not only it's just a new month, but of course yes, it's also the very late part of you know of the day in a sense that this day is coming to a very big deep end. And of course yes, my computer is, unfortunately it actually has a time limit, so I've got to be very swift as I'm doing along the way without going you know absolutely too slow and those birds are actually very big there. I just can't believe that the birds in this product are actually very big. It's quite funny that you know the Flapping Birds toy range, do you remember that toy range? You know I used to remember that back then Flip Up used to make loads and loads of bird themed products you know as in small birds but nowadays we're now focusing on water birds and not song birds in a sense that we're mainly focusing on water birds which are much bigger than what you know other birds are like, you know, as in songbirds, or birds that sing, or birds that, you know, that are small and flock together. Um, but there you go. Let's take a look at this one here. This might be our last um, seagull thing product. Of course, this is a flip flap origami British Wildlife Collection. First, I was getting £13.50. Isn't 13 an unlucky number? <laughs> That's weird, eh? It's basically called the Swimming, Wintering, Herring, Gowers, and Pelchard. Uh, school run 12 pack. It's literally based on the sardine run. Uh, but there you go, there's the back of the packaging which looks like that. And my crock is as I'm making this video in September of 2022, it's just been raining this night. This has actually been fairly nice because, you know, without rain, well, we're all going to be completely and utterly dead and also completely and utterly vulnerable because of the drought that we had recently. I might talk about the heat wave of 2022 in another separate video because it's so complex but I might try and do my best to basically talk about it maybe in the afternoon and originally as I would have actually thought I was going to be doing a video about it on the 31st of August but then I actually decided to postpone that idea until like sometime in September of this year so I'm very sorry for the utter delay that I've got on my YouTube channel in fact I've actually got a stack of videos um, that I've actually made during August of 2022 uh, which are delayed to, you know, the later part of the year. Of course, yes, we've got some wintering herring gals. Now, noticing on how brown and dirty the head looks like, it looks like it's completely streaked. So, yes, when you have this head colorization, that tells me it's basically a wintering herring gal. You know, I've actually been very familiar with those models before for a fairly long time. It feels like it's kind of like the way I did with my Flappingbird's toy range. You know, apart from gals, where are the turns? And I'm actually kind of thinking, I do miss, you know, you know, I used to make models of Flappingbird's in the, in the shape of a common turn or any other turn species. I might as well make, look forward to that, eh? It's actually quite a good idea to think upon. But nevertheless, it's still quite a nice looking set. Of course, yes, um, the artwork seems to be, well, derived from cow arts. This is kind of a bit weird seeing that Flip Flap is now going to a more sort of bee mouth type design in which Flip Flap has decided to make every creature in the universe so cheesy and to be like anyone else who's animating animations these days. And it's so weird that Flip Flap has decided to cheapen the, the looks compared to what I did back then. I mean, oh well, without getting too, too cheesed off, let's take a look at those two ponies next. Now, do you remember I did Minuet in a video before? Of course, yes, I've done it before. Um, but yes, of course, yes, I do know that my computer has got a time limit, of course. But yes, um, we've also got another pony here, who I presume is a doppelganger. This pony here is called Sea Swell, and she is a unicorn with the same style of mane. Thank goodness, since I did Sea Garthing products, this pony here looks like a real kelpie, which is basically a water horse. Maybe derived from, you know, from the sea, or any water body, of course, or any other body of water, and blah, blah. Noticing it looks actually so similar to those... Uh, minuet, but noticing that the head is a lot more big and a bit rotund. But what I've actually noticed about the difference between minuet and uh, sea swell is, is that um, sea swell is actually a little bit longer. I think from mane or head to tail, I've actually noticed sea swell is a little bit longer um, in terms of head proportions. 
than minuet. Whereas minuet is actually um, slightly taller than C swell. I've actually realised C swell is a bit more of a short sort of um, is a bit of a shorter yet sl that smaller model. This one here, although having a bit more of a, a fatish looking head, um, yes, the sides of the mane do really seem to move. Of course, there's a bit of motion going on here. I've actually realised that minuet looks pretty much the part. It looks very similar to what I've done in previous videos to minuet. Though I've actually done minuet there, so here's minuet there. As a bit of a side by side comparison, this is actually very, very sort of intriguing to see that both of these ponies look so brilliant. And I've actually noticed that Sea Swell's eyes is a lot more bigger and a lot more, well, uh, visibly chippy like than Minuet, which is actually kind of sort of very strange if you think of it, eh? And if I turn to the other side, there's a key mark. I'm pretty sure it's meant to resemble that of a dolphin and a shark. Possibly a while. I think that sort of cutie mark design. That's actually telling me. Oh, sorry. Oh no. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, about one, guys. Sorry, bony fans. Sorry. That. Uh, sorry about the one, though, guys and girls. That blue unicorn sadly got clobbered by a bullet train. How uncouth was that? But nevertheless, C Spell's got a beautiful looking, actually very sort of darkish, sort of maroonish. Um, like, I'd probably say, I wouldn't say magenta, but more of a darkish, maroonish sort of colour. Not really burgundy, but that's how I see it. It's actually quite a nice looking pony. She looks so nicely detailed, as uh, C Swirl. Very nice, uh, much bigger head, and a much sort of very different design. Even her, her proportions are a little bit, you know, slimmer. Um, although slimmer uh, in terms of the body, you know, when compared to Minuet, I've actually noticed that C Swell is a little bit uh, fat with the head compared to what Minuet. Minuet looks more like a regular sort of pony, whereas C Swell looks like she's got a very weird sort of big head. I don't know why. Um, but I don't know. It looks kind of weird. And also, the tail of Minuet is a lot more harder than C Swell. C Swell's tail is a lot more. Is a lot more. I would just say. It, slimmer and shorter and also a lot more softer as well compared to Minuet's tail it's a little bit rock hard but Sea Spoil has actually got more of a more of a softer sort of tail but anyways that's it for the ponies done and dusted and it looks like Minuet has landed onto the train tracks well actually on the track master train tracks obviously my toy train tracks of course well I think that's about it throughout the rest of this whole video of our YouTube. Sorry for the other rough and readiness in this video. I know it's the first day of September, but yes, hopefully as time progresses, I promise I'll make better content via YouTube. And yes, I've actually realised that my toys are in a new generation, being generation 129. So yes, we have finally arrived in a new generation, in a sense that the summer holidays and the season of summer is gone. Of course, yes, Generation 128 is no longer there again. But yet again, of course, yes, um, I've got to tell what those guys say, since summer is done, it feels like we're off with a new generation of 129. So anyways, hopefully, you, you know what, I'm actually going to say next thank you. If you really enjoyed in this pretty rough and ready, but very first toy in September of 2022, please give this video a like, like so. Sorry for the pun, eh? <laughs> Subscribe for more FIFA videos in the future, and as always, thanks so much for watching, and bye for now. Watch this train, we're bye. Bye bye.